กระจกองจุนุนจุบเรียบกาเหมือนโตก็จำนาการในเทีสัมนาการสัมนาการดุจไข่นี่องจุบเรียหนึ่งคือสัมนาการดับบางหายใหญ่กระทากลลือโดยกรมเมตตาบีกาปิคดีเปียปอนจมวยหนึ่งองให้สะกอตรามเกาะหนึ่งมันที่สนศกกลางตะจันกลางจีสัมนาการกัญญาเชียสีหวงลางรีกาอภิสุทธานพิบวัตมีนอัตวัตมีนพิกีได้องจุบเรียก็หันเชื่อโจร่วมในขนมเป็นจำนากาสำนากาทั้งไงนี่ส่งกรุบลูกปะเทียนสำหรับสำนากาในทั้งไงนี้กลำจีกับสมกวักเคยแทนกรุบเชี่ยกี้ต่างอ๋อในเรื่องกระไดนี้มีวัตถุมีนเลิกแรงตาหลุดส้นอารุณเมธิวิชิตกาเปียกระไดไอหลุดนุนเชี่ยเอาวัตถุมีนได้มูลหายสกเพียบได้ไล่หลุดนุนเชี่ยมีวัตถุมีนเนื้อบรรทุกคมครวนแข่งกรามซาสำนากานี้ได้โลกสนาสมเล็บบังสัตเมียนวัตเมียนได้ตวัลตีบรรทุกสำนักแก่ดิคัดเล็บบังสัตหรือบอชุนจบเจ้านวลเชี้ยบ้านประกอบด้ากลามจีรุ่ยหอยสมอกุลลูกเทียนน่ะกุลจีดบงนี้อ่องยิ่งแม่สำหรับเลยสำหรับสมหรือบอชุนจบเจ้านวลเชี้ยจีบุญสันอ่องยิ่งแรกบ้านตัวลิคัดสมเล็บบังสัตเจ้ารวมสำนักแก่ได้ตวัลขนมบรรทุกสำนักแก่นี้บอชุนจบเจ้านวลเชี้ยเจ้าไงตีมาเผยใบคายมีสายชนะปีปอนดับพรำได้บัญชีท้าได้กอดมีปัญหาสกปรกเพียบชื่อกบาชื่อจึงแก้มันอายคุยอยู่บ้านมันอายจ้องอารมณ์อันยุ่งนึ่งดังใบเมียนลัดเพียบโจรวมสำนักการในไทยมกอเมียนบัตรเพียบครวนทอมเล็บบังสัตโจรวมหนึ่งเมียนบัตรเมียนได้ตัวขนมตุกสำนักการในไทยที่มาเผยใบใครเมษาชนะปีปอนดับรำมีจะวิกาปีใครบอกครวนบานพรับอัมปีพอลปะพอลในการเล็บบังสัตในท้าการเล็บบังสัตนี่มันอาจบอสไรท้าจีการเล็บบังสัตบักล้วนนงกาการศึกใดได้ยุติท้อหรือกษัตริย์นงกาจมตัวแต่นงพอตางนงกาดาบังหันหรือดาจุนตลาการนี่กรุบเปรียบเลียนในสามนาการเลยรุกล้วนเลยบานเคยกำหนดให้เป็นนัดสกปรกจุนจบจอดนนจีได้เพื่อลางได้กรุบเปรียบประจำกาปีนัดเพียบาไทยตอมสกปรกจุนจบจอดในอวบตกจอดไงยี่บเพยใบใครมีซาชนะมีพรดับรำบานก็ตมกวลท้าสถานเพียบสกปรกเราบอกลูกนวลชี้มีนาการะชื่อจังเกรามไรมีนารอมเบลมกเปลืองกุยยูหนึ่งพัดอันอุสาธาสมองหยิบเรียอันญาติไอ้ลูกนวลชี้โจรุ่มตามนานกระจำนาคาสำนาคาปีบรรทุกขังกราวมซาสัมการนี่ไอ้เรื่องบุรุษฐานนี่หนึ่งโยงตามบรรพญาตในเวทีนไปถึงมวยปรามในเวทีนไปขนมอวบตะโกองหยิบเรียโยลเพิ่มหนึ่งอันญาติเอาจุนจบจอดนวลชี้บรรทุกโจรุ่มหนึ่งตามนานกระจำนาคาสำนาคาปีจมไงปีบรรทุกคุมครูนมวยทัดนากราวมซาสัมการนี่ตามในเยอะประกอบสตัวสำหรับเยอะเปลือยสำนักกาเป็นมวยไทยนี่ประกอบอ้อยบกลึกในสตัวจบประปอนสตัวสำหรับจนจบจอดนุ่งจี้อาจจะร่วมในตานานกันจำนักกาสำนักกาปีจมง่ายปีบรรทุกคมครวนมวยถัดกรามซาสำนักนี่ขนมลงเปลือยในดำนักกาสำนักกาสำหรับไทยนี่ปัจจุบันตอนนี้อันเมียพัดอลวิทยาจุนเตอร์กรมวิทยาการเปียกได้แต่ตัวบงนี่คือวิทยาการเปียกได้เป็นนุ่งจี้กำลังบังฮันในไอกระซาคนลึกเปียปอนจมวยหนึ่งอังเฮดสะโกตรามก็หนึ่งมันตีสนศกครั้งตะจันสมเจยขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณครับท่านผู้ชมขอบคุณ Uh, this morning, I will present a total of 30 documents, which is a little less uh, than the list we initially circulated, as we have now removed uh, some documents. Let me first turn to the documents that relate to Krang, Krang Tachan. There are 138 documents on the case file listed in an OCP annex called uh, the Tram Kok District records. These documents are allegedly contemporaneous documents relating to activities within Tram Kok District during the decade period. 
Um, by now, it is clear that these documents are by far the prosecution's core evidence for this trial segment. Um, however, only three of these 138 documents have a located original, and even these originals are not on our case file. The other documents are simply copies, and the whereabouts of their originals are unknown. Um, this makes it impossible, for example, to, to verify uh, Peck Chim's recent claim that all executions would have been annotated on documents in red ink. Uh, nor can we examine the nature of several documents with a single E3 uh, number, but which appear to have been compilations of various separate documents, uh, including correspondence back and forth. In a court of law, uh, this is highly problematic, especially in the light of the possibility, which I will discuss a little later, that certain documents may have been uh, forgeries intended to craft a very particular narrative of alleged events at Grand Tachan. And it is with these concerns in mind that we will soon be filing an official request for investigation into a selection of the so-called Trumpcock district records. Now, Mr. President, the first document I wish to present is a document which provides information about the provenance of these so-called Trumpcock districts. This document is E3-188. It is a written record of interview of Yu Chang, director of uh, documentation center of Cambodia, and it is dated 2 April 2009. The relevant ERN, ERN numbers in English are 00342, 450 until 5, Khmer 00334755, until 61 and French 00485435 until 40. In this document, uh, Yuk Chang provides further information and identifies uh, important sources regarding the provenance of the Trumpcock district records and their chain of custody. Um, he notes that the documents were found at different times and are from different sources. Um, he explains that the original documents related to Krang Tachan were lost, but that it is uh, unclear how they were lost, when uh, and also where this loss occurred. <coughs> However, uh, he does explain that Mr. Sao Pirin, the current Secretary of State in the Council of Ministers, uh, who we have requested to call as an additional witness in this trial segment, allegedly, allegedly received the documents uh, from the district front and gave them uh, to none other than uh, Ben Kienen. According to Yuk Chang, Keenan said he returned the documents uh, and that they are in tool slang, which they uh, in fact are not. Um, Sao Pirin, on the other hand, according to Yuk Chang, says Keenan did not return uh, the originals. <coughs> Yuk Chang also provides information concerning the so-called Trumpcock district uh, uh, record sources. Uh, so, for instance, he states in his, um, in his statement that Prime Minister Hun Sen is a source for documents numbered as D documents in the DC Chem numbering system. Yuk uh, Chang also says that other sources are from uh, Takiyo province. Um, and that some documents were taken from the office of the district front, but it is unclear uh, where the district front received the documents from. He also says that the district front supposedly collected the documents from the village and commune levels, but it did not take the original 
uh, documents from China, the China itself. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'd, I'd request that counsel, when he's making these references, as I did, point to the specific year ends. Um, he's characterizing the evidence rather than pointing to it. One of the things he just said is, is exactly the opposite of what is said in the interview that he's relying on. Uh, in order for there to be any reliability of this process, he needs to be citing where he's getting this from so that he's not characterizing or mischaracterizing the evidence. Uh, I, I can do that, Mr. President. I just uh, thought it would get rather tedious if I uh, number every reference. But if, if you require so, I will do it. Um, would you like me to get back to all the references, or, or shall I just go on from now? Yeah, otherwise it's getting really boring. Um, so let me uh, revisit the... ແລະយោងនៅលេខឯកសារលេខតំពួរអៀវអនបានច្បាស់លោះនៅអ្វីដែលលោកបានលើកឡើងដើម្បីងាយភាគីទាំងអស់បានពិនិត្យតាមដាន
uh, concerns about the heavy reliance on the Trump-Cock district records and consider them uh, for their content. Um, not all of these documents paint the universally brutal picture of the regime that the prosecution would have you believe. I will now present a number of documents, uh, some of which the prosecution has already presented, uh, that present an alternative view of at least some of the events relating to Krang Te Chan. Uh, we have divided these documents into five uh, categories. The first category um, are documents illustrating that multiple attempts uh, were made to re-educate people. Um, so these documents indicate that multiple attempts were made to re-educate people into changing uh, their behavior at the commune level before matters were escalated, if that happened at all. I would like to present four illustrative examples. Mr. President, the first document shows that law and all officials and soldiers were among those uh, who might be re-educated multiple times. Document E3-4092, also uh, presented yesterday by the prosecution. It's a document entitled Notebook of KTC Interrogator and contains uh, confessions of 107 persons, including women, men, youth, and Lonol soldiers. The English ERNs are, that I'm referring to are 00834826-28, Khmer 00271162-4, and French 00721306. Um, this document lists several incidents of people uh, being re-educated on multiple occasions at the commune level. It also illustrates how sending people to a re-education center did not uh, mean certain death, but implies that people could in fact return from the education centers to the communes. Uh, specifically, um, this document E3-4092 describes at least two people who were re-educated and who were former Lonol soldiers. Um, number one, um, that is English 0083-4827, Khmer 00271162-63, and 00721306 in French, relates to a, a warrant officer called Pok Bunli. Um, Pok Bunli was, um, uh, was in Ang Tasom commune, committed thefts uh, very often, I, I quote, uh, which is why, uh, again quote, the cooperative re representative arrested and sent him to the re-education camp many times. Uh, Kung Vet, uh, a Lonol corporal who was also living in Ang Tasom commune, um, was apparently, I quote, uh, a major thief who, I quote again, uh, stole potatoes five times, coconuts three times, and corns twice, and, one, uh, and who the cooperative representative educated on several occasions, but, I quote again, who resisted stubbornly, that is, e, uh, English ERN 00834-828, Khmer 00271164, and French 00721307-08. Um, the next document, Mr. President, uh, shows that um, also new people um, might be re-educated more than once. E3-4101, uh, that is a report from Krang Tachan uh, to the district office dated 7 March 1977 and signed by An. Uh, on English ERN 00322124, 
Khmer 00271034 and French 00854216. Uh, we can see that this report describes uh, Kim Vani, a new person um, assigned to a youth assembly unit in Sre Renung Commune who apparently, and I quote, really stole very often, such as coconuts, cassava roots, and climbing up the palm trees at night to steal the palm juice of the cooperative for drinking, etc. And it says that the chief of the unit has educated him several times, but he still continued to commit, to commit the thefts. Mm. Uh, yet another document, Mr. President, shows how at least five people, including Lon Ol officials and, so, uh, uh, and soldiers, new people and frequent thieves, faced multiple rounds of re-education to correct their behavior. I refer you to, uh, that's the next document, E3-2424, that is a compilation of reports uh, between sub-districts office, uh, this district and Krang Tachan, which appears to date from 1978. Um, the English ERNs are 0032222217, ending in 2022 and 25. Khmer ERN 00270755, and ERNs ending in 59. 62, 63, and 75, and the French ERN 00612215, and ERNs ending in 21 and 23 till 24. Now this document, this report, E3-2424, describes uh, the re-education history of several people. Um, and for instance, on 18 August, uh, 1978 report from Cheng uh, of Angtasom Commune uh, to a quote respected comrade, elder brother, police of District 105. Uh, describes Kong Vaet, a former military person of unknown rank, who, and I quote, was such a great stealer, unquote. He Quote, had been educated so far by the group, unit, and by the collective meetings for the past three years, period, end of quote. And after this apparently failed, he was, um, and I quote, individually educated by a hot measure, that is English ERN 0032220, Khmer 00270755, and French 00612219. In the same document, uh, we can see an 8 July letter from Bin and Yat from an unknown location to the, I quote, beloved base party and concerned Ni, a surgical doctor from Phnom Penh, who reportedly, and I quote, committed cheap deeds of theft several times so far and who officials had, quote again, educated several times but nevertheless, quote, still abuses the party guidelines. That is 0032222, Khmer 00270759, and French 0061219. In this E3-2424, there's another document, uh, the date, author, and recipient unknown, uh, which details two information um, about two pieces of information about uh, two further people living in Ang Tasong. First, uh, somebody called Pok Bun Lee, a 20 year, 20 years, 27-year-old new person of Vietnamese heritage, uh, who, and I quote, uh, had a lot of disputes, including stealing, for which he was educated very often, until he was brought for education in the commune militia office once already. Uh, however, the report complained, and I quote, though he had been educated, he still repeated his same activities. English, ERN 003-22225, 
Khmer 002-70763 and French 00612223 and 00612224. Uh, Om Chanta was, and I quote, serving in the enemy's forces when living in the enemy's area, and I quote, has stolen and incited to fight the revolution, unquote. It's uh, noted in this document that, uh, I quote, our party has decided to bring him to the commune militia office for education once already. But, and I quote, during the education, this youth fled from the office twice. Later, the party decided to bring him back to the youth office. End of quote. And a new quote, though he has been educated very often, every day he continues to steal. English 003-22225. Khmer 0027-0762 and French 0061-22223. And finally, uh, Mr. President, in this uh, document E3-2424, a document from uh, Chun uh, at Tramkok, dated 27 July 1978, and addressed to, and I quote, lovely comrade elder brother district police, uh, which described uh, Suun Pi, a 25-year-old from District 109 in Takiu, who was, and I quote, good at stealing things which belong to the collective, unquote, and who officials, quote, try to educate in whatever manner, end of quote. English era N0032217. Khmer 00270775 and French 00612215. The next document, uh, Mr. President, your honours, is E3-2048. This is a document also presented yesterday by the prosecution. It is a report to An uh, by an unknown author dated March 4, year unknown. And it mentions uh, the sub district militia bringing in those who held officer ranks and who have been re educated before. English ERN 76566, Khmer 00079094, and French 0061163. This report. Uh, E3-2048 mentions Kionet and Churung, uh, who both held officer ranks. Kionut, um, and I quote, incited Churung to run off, and he has stolen the belongings of the people constantly, never fearful, end of quote. In the reports, author then complained that, and I quote, the base has re-educated them to the utmost of its capabilities, end of quote. Um, a fourth and final document, Mr. President, also is yet, uh, we believe, another example of multiple attempts to re-educate people who mostly appear to be frequently stealing from or damaging communal supplies. It is document E3-2107, uh, also presented yesterday by the prosecution. It's a Krang, Krang Tachan notebook. English ERN 00290205, um, 22, 45 to 6, and 56. Khmer 0068, sorry, 000 68050, 60, 75, 74, 80, and 81, and French 00655726, uh, 39, 60 to 61, 68, and 69. Now, in this document, E3-2107, uh, uh, we can read that Chu Sovan, a former monk living in various locations, including Kus sub-district, uh, stole, and I quote, palm sugar water and coconuts and gems frequently, um, to the point that Ankar has re-educated and built him time after time. 
English 002-90205, Khmer 0068-050, and French 0065-5726. We can also read about a man called Kang Sun, who, and I quote, killed cooperative cows with a hatchet, unquote, and yet, I quote, Anka re-educated him each time, unquote. The same person allegedly did not clean rice, and also, um, I quote, two or three times he killed chickens and ate them. English 0090 uh, 222, Khmer 0068060, and French 0065537. It also relates a man uh, named uh, a district militiaman uh, who allegedly raped a girl. He, and I quote, fought with our army very frequently at Tik Sam and uh, committed a violation about eating for which the, re uh, the unit chairman, and I quote, re-educated him often. After this, he had yet another unspecified conflict after which the chairman, um, and I quote, re-educated him until nine before releasing him, unquote. That is English 0029-0245 until six, Khmer 0068074, and French 0065-760 until 61. Uh, Chia Sopal, who joined the military in 1973, was a member of the Kus sub-district youth unit and was described as, and I quote, the thief of thieves. The report detailed how, and I quote, the unit representative has re-educated him over and over, but it has not worked, unquote. 00290256 in English, Khmer 0006080 in French 0065-7, 6, uh, finally, Mr. President, Nigal um, Kia uh, from Changtong sub-district was described as having stolen manioc, not sure what that is, uh, sugar dumplings, rice, uh, and having a conflict with the cook and throwing things at the cook's roof. And it says, while, and I quote, Ankar has frequently, frequently re-educated him about this behavior, uh, the report complained that, and I quote, he kept on stealing like this. 00290256, and French 00065-7609. Mr. President, I will now move on to another category of documents offering uh, some insight into Krang uh, Tachan. These documents are those which showed officials behaving cautiously with respect to the treatment of troubling people by sending detailed reports of behavior and requesting instructions to be issued by those senior to him, to them. Uh, I would like to start with um, a document also presented yesterday by the, by the prosecution E3-2453. This document is a compilation of reports within the Tramcock district, including four uh, particularly relevant reports. English ERN the first report is dated 13 October 1977 and written by Kuhn from uh, Srey Renung to the party. 
uh, it details the actions of Han, a widow in the Sray Ramon sub-district, who is uh, a major thief, unquote. Uh, Kun requests um, the party's decision about the above report, that is English 0038855, and French 0061171. Uh, another report uh, from Ang Ta Som to the Trump Court District details information on two persons and requests, requests to know, when I quote, whatever Ang Ta decides. Uh, English 0038855777, in French 0061176. Uh, a third report within this uh, document, E3-2453, is uh, from me in Nang Nang Commune, the district party. And this uh, report ends with, I quote, may the party be informed and request that whatever decision the party makes be sent for information. English 0038584, and French 0061174. And finally, uh, Mr. President, the fourth report, also from Min of Nyang Nyang Commune, uh, that concerns four people named Luo, Suus, uh, Yun and Bang, uh, who want to, I quote, smash the revolution, unquote. Uh, this report ends with, also, uh, quote, may the party be informed about the four of them and please provide this information on whatever the party decides, unquote. Uh, English ERN 0038858. Five, excuse me, zero zero three eight eight and French zero zero six one one seven seven five. The next document. Um, we use that again. That is uh, the earlier mentioned E three slash two zero four eight. Uh, also, this document appears to be a compilation of documents, uh, two of which we believe are particularly relevant here. Uh, English ERN 0276-5562 uh, and ERN ending in 64, 00079087 ending in 91, and French 0061165 uh, six five eight ending in six one. Um, in this document E three slash two zero four eight, um, the first is a note. Uh, dated 3 April 1977 from Pan of Popel Commune and it requests, and I quote, Anka passed judgment, unquote, regarding certain new people, including, and I quote, whether to have a send them in or what, end of quote. Uh, that is English 00276562, Khmer 00079087288, and French 00611658. In another document, um, Mr. President, in the same compilation is a note from Tapem, Sub-District Cooperative Secretary Kit to Ankar, and it details uh, six soldiers all first or second lieutenant who, I quote, have personally carried out activities every single day, unquote, and it concludes this report that, uh, I quote, whatever Ankara's decision, request opinion and instructions, English ERN 00276564, and French 00611661. I'd like to move on to uh, the next document, that is E3-4105. This report is apparently from Trumpok Commune Militia and is ad addressed to Ankar uh, of the district and dated 19 
April 1977. English ER N00235 uh, we beg to ask the Ankar of the district that where should this person be sent to or how to solve it. Please give opinion on it. End of quote. I now move on to uh, yet another uh, category within these documents, Mr. President. Uh, that's the, the use of uh, so-called hot methods uh, in, inter in interrogation. Uh, also contrasting with the prosecution's picture of events at Grand Tachan are a number of documents which apparently indicate that uh, hot methods of inter interrogation were not always used uh, and indeed sometimes appear to be used only very rarely. Uh, the first is a document which has uh, been mentioned at length by the prosecution yesterday, uh, E3-4095. Um, it's an interrogator's notebook with the, we'll come back to that very interesting heading called um, Fifth Confession and Contentable Traitors, Pol Pot and Nimsari. English ERN 0074 um, 7287 ending 79 uh, Khmer 0027 and French 0072 uh, ending 61 um, Mr. President, this notebook is a uh, lengthy document containing information regarding the interrogation of approximately uh, 105 different prisoners at Grand Tachan, including a large number of Lono soldiers, as the prosecution detailed yesterday. Uh, however, Throughout all these citations, uh, uh, hot methods are only mentioned as being used on two of these people. Concerning the person Yang Kang, the report indicates, indicates that, and I quote, this person was interrogated with some of, uh, unquote, of, quote, hot methods to dig up his network, but he refused to confess, end of quote, that is English, here in 0074, 7287, Khmer 0027-1124, and French 0072-1252. Um, and concerning the person uh, the report says that he was beaten during the integration, presumably a typo intended to say uh, interrogation, but he did not confess. Um, I have the English ERN 0074 7279. Um, for some reason, right now, I cannot produce the Khmer But I can now. Um, that is 00 271118. And as a note that I should slow down, um, I will. And French uh, 0 A second document, Mr. President, uh, we believe demonstrates the same phenomenon. It is E3-4092. Uh, As mentioned earlier, uh, this Krang Tachan interrogator's notebook contains confessions of 107 persons, uh, including women, men, youth, and uh, Lono soldiers. The English ERN 0084 ending 05 
Mr. President, like with the document uh, discussed before, of the 107 persons detailed in this document, there seem to be only four occasions uh, on which the persons were subjected to, and I quote, uh, intense uh, interrogation, unquote. I should note the uh, French version interrogation, interrogates interrogation in uh, four different ways without using the word uh, intense. So there seems to be a bit difference in uh, translation between the French and the English. But only in four occasions of the 107 uh, persons who were detained uh, apparently, uh, hot methods were used. Um, Mr. President, we will revisit uh, these documents um, most likely during, during our objections uh, later this week. But for now, let me just note that um, considering that both uh, notebooks specifically uh, seem to indicate uh, where hot methods were used. Um, suggest that they would, were not standard practice. Uh, otherwise, why would they be indicated at all, uh, is the question. Moreover, regarding the first notebook, uh, E3-4095, as the prosecution mentioned yesterday, some of the persons listed included the family of trial witness Mia Soka, and they include, for instance, Mia Sokka's mother, Hun Kim Seng, and his sister, Mia Sarat, both of whom we have recently requested to appear as witnesses. Now, as we know, uh, these people are still alive today, um, so unless the prosecution can produce evidence to the contrary, it is very possible that several people, in uh, many people, uh, in fact, in the notebook may have survived. And this goes to a broader issue, of course, which is how often uh, executions at Krang Tachan occurred at all. Um, thank you, Mr. President. I just want to make um, one objection here. Obviously, counsel was allowed to address and present these documents and explain their importance. Crossing into the, the um, realm of making a closing argument where we start to uh, argue about what witnesses have testified, uh, I think is something we avoided. Um, uh, I could stand up and respond that we've had testimony from the guards who said that everyone, with a few exceptions, was killed. So I think this is not the time for counsel to start making conclusions. He has no basis uh, to say that, that any time, every time torture was used, it would be documented. That's an argument from him. He has no basis to say there are other people in this book who were released. So I think we need to confine ourselves here uh, to presenting the documents and not uh, make arguments because uh, obviously if he's going to make arguments about witness testimony, I feel uh, an obligation to respond. And I don't think we're at that point yet.
Well, the prosecutor has pointed to something which has obviously always been a fine line in this kind of hearings. We have had the same issue again and again. Um, obviously drawing the line between presenting a document and commenting on it in a context is, as I said, fine. Uh, counsel, we just wish to remind you this is not a closing speech, it's very obviously, so perhaps you could concentrate on what could really be seen as a presentation of documents as opposed to others of an evaluation at this point in time. Um, I, will, I will do my very best, uh, Judge Fentz, but sometimes I need to explain in one sentence or two sentences why I'm doing this, but um, I'll, I'll try to avoid um, closing submissions type arguments. Um, Mr. President, I would now, now like to move to uh, documents uh, which might illustrate a different use of the word smash. Um, these documents included in, including in the so-called Trumcock district, which indicated the word uh, smash uh, has a variable meaning and cannot, simply, or cannot always simply be equated to execution. For example, um, Document E3-2053, um, this is an undated report to the party written by Kung of Trapiang Tom South Cooperative, and it sums up uh, the confessions of two individuals, English ERN 0027 Khmer 00079122, French 00 Three, uh, the report relates to people named Okpat and C and identifies the network and the plans they had. Significantly, it says that two people, and I quote, had a five-year plan to ensure the smashing of the cooperatives, either in five years, seven years, or otherwise, uh, and I quote again, it's necessary to wear down the cooperatives and to absolutely oppose communal eating, <coughs> In addition, the report says that Upat and C had, and I quote, plans to contact the Yun and Thailand, Thailand and use the weapons to smash the revolution, unquote. Um, E3 slash 2453. This is um, the relevant report is dated 18 October from the mean of Ning Nang to the district based area party. English ERN 003 um, 88586. Command 00270784 in French. 00611775. Uh, the report in question identifies a network of four persons, uh, Luo Yang Tri, uh, Suus Ti, Yun Yang, and Bang Nam, with the author concluding that, I quote, my analysis is that they have plans to smash our revolution, um, document E3-40092, presented yesterday also by the prosecution, uh, and mentioned earlier, this is a Krang Tachan interrogator's notebook containing confessions of 107 persons, English ERN 0083-34818, May 0027-1155-56, and French 0072-1304. Um, at this point, I draw your attention to a note which details the actions of Pan Nun, who, when I quote, organized a meeting to create plots with his clique of four people, end of quote, um, in order, quote, to smash and destroy the cooperative. That is on English ERN 0083481728.
Mr. President, the last category of documents I am presenting this morning, which arguably provide insight into events at Krang Tachan, are two documents um, which relate to uh, S21 specifically, but which we suggest to be relevant to other security centers in the DK. Uh, the pair of documents in this category uh, discuss the apparently little known fact that some prisoners Quite, quite a substantial number, actually, uh, were released from S21, uh, contrary to the popular misconception that only seven people survived S21. I'm referring to uh, E3-7326. It is a fact sheet published by DC10 called, and I quote, Pol Pot and his prisoners at secret prison S21. An overview on the release of prisoners of S21. English ERN 01002075-85. There's no Khmer translation available yet, Mr. President, and also no French translation available. Now, in this document, DC CAM provides details of several, several different categories of prisoners who were actually released from S21, such as children and Khmer Rouge cadres. The fact sheet gives a long list of prisoners who DC Chem says were released from S21 during the DK period. And in addition, uh, it indicates which persons are reported to be alive, people who, whose status is uncertain, and people who died after 1979. Um, and relating to this document, Ms. Yeah, yes, Mr. President, I, I can't find any, any such document, E3-7326, in the system, so I don't know whether it has a original case file number, that may be the issue. Um, I, even though we're... We were instructed to present documents relating to Tramcock. Uh, I don't want to object at that point at this stage because I'd like to see what's in this document. Um, because the reason I'd like to see the document is um, the prisoners that were found weren't released. They were transferred to Prey Sark. <laughs> they were, these people weren't released from That's, So I want to see the evidence that he's signing. Um, Maître Copé, pourriez-vous nous expliquer quelle est la pertinence de ce document au regard du segment qui nous concerne aujourd'hui, à savoir le district de Tramkak et éventuellement la prison de Kran Tanchan. J'avoue que S21, sauf erreur de ma part, ne me paraît pas faire partie de ce segment. Correct, mais S21 a été souvent um, in this segment. Uh, but the, re the, the relevance of this document is to show that um, also from S21 uh, a substantial number of prisoners were released, um, undermining uh, the views of the prosecution and the view laid down in the closing order that nobody who entered Krang uh, uh, was released. So um, when we are making this comparison, I think that is also relevant for a view that we uh, might have on uh, the release of prisoners in Krang Tachan. Uh, Mr. Prosecutor, the document is E307-5. Point two, point one zero, and the document that I'm presenting, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. President, Judge Lavernia, is also in relation to E three slash three nine 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 two, which is a 
article from the Cambodia Daily uh, from Thursday, 28 August 2008, English ERN 0054824823-4, Khmer 0081487173, and French 0083666861, and consistent with the document that I... Si je comprends bien, alors même que nous n'avons pas examiné les faits concernant S21 et que nous n'avons pas discuté de ce problème de savoir si des prisonniers avaient pu être libérés de S21, vous utilisez un article où il est fait mention de possible libération des prisonniers de S21 pour éventuellement établir que à Krengtanshan, des prisonniers auraient aussi pu être libérés c'est ça la logique du raisonnement J'avoue avoir du mal à suivre euh, véritablement. Well, um, um, this article that I was quoting from the Cambodia Daily is from August 2008. I believe it's an article before the judgment of this trial chamber in the case of Duit. And it, um, it, it says basically that um, 177 prisoners were released from S21, um, which is um, something that this trial chamber hasn't included in its judgment and relates to the fact that in general people were released from security centers, hence also from Krang uh, a substantial number of people were released. That is our, uh, our position. And I think by just introducing these two uh, documents we should be able to um, put our presentation in the context of uh, the context being prisoners were in fact released from security centers. Um, first, Mr. President, I still can't find the first document. I don't know whether he's reading it too quickly, but I cannot find the first document, the article I'm familiar with. I think it is premature to get into this at this point. I can tell you that we followed up, we put evidence uh, that will, we will um, obviously deal with in the S21 phase. We followed up on this. These, these prisoners were not released. They were sent to Kresar. Uh, many of them were then later sent back to S21 and killed. The, the idea that uh, this many prisoners were released. But we should be dealing with this at the S21 phase, not now. I'd be happy to repeat the words of the prosecution when he was, you know, he, he was questioning, I think, Richard Dutton, confronting him with, with um, prisoner list. That's what the prosecution is doing all the time. And I think putting Krang Te Chan in the context of S21 uh, is not something that goes um, out of the segment of this trial. Counsel, you're obviously making a closing style argument, but having said that, uh, cl sorry, closing speeches, style argument. Having said that, you, s you appear to say these were your two questions in this context. Is that correct or are you going to spend more time on this? No, that's it. Only those two, uh, two documents indicating that uh, many prisoners, according to a recent confirmation, by the way, in the Guardian of uh, by Yuk Chang, uh, are, were in fact released. Um, having said that, Mr. President, I'm uh, moving now to uh, another topic, and that is um, uh, unreliable documents, uh, unreliable Kantachan documents of particularly limited probative value. Now, having uh, highlighted several categories of documents which we believe are uh, uh, relevant to establishing events at Kantachan, I would like now to turn instead to uh, highlight a number of documents which, by contrast, uh, are only of particularly limited probative value because they are possibly at least partial. Uh, forgeries. Um, first, um, forgeries possibly made after 79. I will first discuss a pair of documents, uh, documents relied on in the closing order at paragraphs uh, 514, 500, and uh, 1385 as the basis for the investigating judge's suggestion that at least, uh, at least uh, 15,000 people were executed at Grand Tachan. And that document is um, E3-2107. 
Uh, it's a notebook uh, from Grand Tachan containing 91 entries. English ERN 002902 Khmer 00068049 and French 00655725. Now at ERN uh, 00290205, uh, there's an annotation from the uh, ECC Khmer to English translator concerning a scribbled note on that uh, page. And the translator says, and I quote, separate page, scribbled note, not in the same handwriting as the rest of the document, end of quote. And an examination of the Khmer original confirms that indeed the hand, this handwriting appears to be quite different. The scribbled note itself states that up until now, up until today, we have smashed 15,000 enemies, end of quote, and is the note that the investigating judges rely upon, as I said, in the closing order. Indeed, the scribbled text itself is written in two different handwritings. Um, the first four lines are written by one handwriting, and the last two lines are written by a different handwriting. Um, in addition, of all the 19 entries in the notebook, the scribbled note is clearly out of context. The rest of the notebook records individual confessions, uh, unlike this high-level statistical remarks. Uh, this comment is the only one with an address C, and the sentence, and I quote, made a party be informed of this, um, a clear indication where it was written, uh, and a signature making it completely out of place among the other entries in the notebook. Um, I note that the credibility of this scribbled note has been discussed with several witnesses during the hearings. Um, I will not go into this argument that I have presented here, although it's very brief. Um, but I would like to conclude with, um, the state, with, with, with our conclusion that we are absolutely convinced that this document is a post-1979 uh, forgery designed uh, to inflate the Grand Tachan death toll as much as possible. Indeed, the document's cover page indicates that it is entitled uh, Fifth Confession, uh, Contemptible Traitors, Pol Pot and Ing Suri, which is uh, blatantly a notation added after the decay period. This is clearly argument, but that, that's not actually the reason I'm standing up. Um, he's talking about two different documents, the, the notebook in which this uh, 15,000 note appears, and I certainly agree with them. This is, this is a different document than the notebook. Um, the fact it's in two handwritings. He's using that as to say it's a forgery. If he wants to make a request to the court, fine. The document that has the uh, handwriting um, on the cover, uh, Fifth Confession, Pol Pot and Ing Suri, is a different notebook. So he's uh, mis misstating the documents he's presenting here. Uh, and that, that, that I do object to. If he wants to make some arguments to explain why he's presenting these, that's fine. I, I agree that these are two different uh, documents, but I'm making the point that um, this other document which says um, the Ing Suri Pol Pot um, traitors uh, is clearly a post-79 turn. This meaning that this, these notebooks have been in the hands of the authorities after 79. So I'm making the connection with this um, 15,000 uh, scribbled note to the other um, uh, annotation clearly dating post-79. Uh, so I agree with the prosecution, these are in fact two documents. Um, Document E3-4145, um, 
Mr. President, this document appears to be a compilation of different prisoner lists from Krang Tachan, English ERN 00762844 and ERN ending in 37, Khmer 00068736 and French 00761100 and ERN ending in 093. Uh, now the page with English ERN uh, 0072844 uh, is a messy handwritten page with containing corrections that lists uh, Yuk Sen as one of the prisoners detained for years pending the party's decision and that Sai Sen confirms was a reference to him. The same page also names Krang Tachan as M105 and is the only document in the so-called uh, Trumpkok District Records Collection to do so. It also lists Hun, Kum, Hun Kim Seng and Mia Sarat as other prisoners but records uh, their biography details completely incorrectly in contrast with other so-called district records. And by contrast, the page with English ERN 00762A37 uh, in the same compilation document appears, at least from a visual and basic content perspective, to be a real document, being typewritten, being written on an apparent template and referring to prisoner information, uh, the accuracy of which has been confirmed by other witnesses. So we also hold that this is a forgery um, um, a forged document. We will obviously uh, come back to that at another stage in this uh, segment. Now, Mr. President, these documents, and I will conclude my remarks um, maybe before the break, uh, these documents, if forgeries, seems, seem likely to have been made after 1979 as a means of constructing the narrative of what occurred at Rang Chan. There are also other documents, the authorship of which has been attributed to people who had testified during this trial segment, but which those people denied were written by them. These are uh, possible DK era for forgeries, and uh, looking at the clock, I think I should uh, pause here. Merci, Monsieur le Président, pour le procès verbal, puisque mon, mon, mon objection est tardive, mais il est clair qu'on est en, en présence typique d'une submission. Notre confrère plaide depuis 15 minutes maintenant. Nous sommes loin de la présentation des documents. Il est impossible de, de lire les IRN en même temps que notre confrère les dit. On a dépassé de loin l'exercice que nous avons tous respecté. Donc j'espère que la Chambre nous donnera la même latitude quand nous présenterons nos observations jeudi, parce qu'il est clair que depuis le début, notre confrère plaide. ដោយចិត្តដំណើរការនៃការដាក់បង្ហាញឯកសារគន្លឺនេះមានភាគីដាក់បង្ហាញឯកសារគន្លឺរៀងរៀងខ្លួននិងទុកមួយពេលមួយ